Hey everyone, this is one of your lovely co-hosts, Will Kane, and I just wanted to tell you that this episode, uh, it was a little bit messed up when we were recording it. We tried a different recording method because the first two episodes were a, a little bit messy and crosstalky, uh, but the way we did it made it so sometimes it would cut out, and so you'll hear that, it'll drop the sound like every once in a while, just like a tiny bit. And then other times it would drop out like seg, like entire five seconds. So five seconds on, five seconds off. So it just completely Swiss cheese a lot of segments. But I tried to save as much as I could. You might hear like a few weird, like the voices will t- kind of like flow weirdly, or there'll be a white noise sound when there's a big transition just to kind of show that there's been stuff cut out. Well, anyway, hopefully it is cohesive, and I hope you enjoy the episode. Hey, hey kids, you, uh, you trying to get into Segment City? Well, you really shouldn't, because Segment City is a mature podcast, and listener discretion is advised. I'm just trying to look at, I know I'm in an alleyway, I know, I know how I look, but I got some fireworks for you kids. I got snakes and I got sparklers, that's all I got. Oh, don't give me that. And I'm resting my microphone upon my stomach. And the Lord said unto the people... Speak clearly now. Speak clearly. So I might hear you. The Lord gave us sweet tea and grits. Oh, Lord, she coming. And and now I can rest the base of my microphone upon my (laughs) stomach. If you think about it, sometimes having a gut can be a big evolutionary advantage. No, it isn't. Think about... I'm thinking about it. Yeah, here we go, see? There are times that I have a TV dinner. That's not true. I don't have TV dinner. You have a lean, a good old lean cuisine. Lean cuisine. <laughs> I need it. I'm not very lean. Uh, oh no, I don't see that. I wasn't. I, I'm resting it on my <laughs> That was the whole bit. The, the I'm goof resting it on is my, that. The that's goof what you're is. actually doing. Mm-hmm. Hey, that's a very good goof from Segment City. Welcome to Segment City. Hey, welcome, everyone. welcome back I'm, to Segment City. I'm Will Kane, and I'm I'm Theo Sapakos. You're and here on the, here on Segment City. We're the boys. Uh, Segment City. It's a it's all segments, all the time, all day, every day in this city, a bustling metropolis. Some of your favorite segments, and hope hopefully all of your favorite segments, because. Well, they are usually randomized. What happens is every week, one of us, we both bring in segments. Uh, The other might not know what the segments are going to be. We usually don't. Uh, We might do some recurring ones. We might not. Mm -hmm. We're at nerd. (laughs) Wait, aren't nerds supposed to be smart? But I'm dumb. There's all things worse than a dumb nerd. Oh, (laughs) because <laughs> you can be a dumb nerd that's a real thing <laughs> shut up you dumb nerd oh i have nothing I'm you don't nothing. even know algebra i don't <laughs> if that, should, that would be the worst existence in the world is getting, to be like i love Yu-Gi-Oh, but i don't understand the rules <laughs> <laughs> getting bullied by people who are smarter than you yeah <laughs> like hey what are you doing? Hey, you should really be more responsible with your with your technology hey. and back up your files to the cloud. Like, hey, what? how long's the hypotenuse of this triangle? <laughs> oh, you know I don't know, Todd. <laughs> oh, you stupid idiot! Give me lunch money, but oh, also you're dumb. No. This he gives him a wedgie and he's like, "This is backwards. Your underwear is backwards." <laughs> oh man! Oh no! <laughs> hey, Will. That was a segment called. Bullying nerds. <laughs> I got you and Will. Yep. Well, well, I got a, I got a million dollars butt question for you. Lay that butt on me. Wait. <laughs> Lay that million all right. dollars on me. Uh, all right, you got it, bud. Yeah. It's on my belt. Um, Will Kane. Yes. You are paid one million tax-free dollars. Oh my goodness. You're now a millionaire, bona fide. A millionaire. But yeah, for two years of uh, your life, two years. the next two years, two years. No one thinks any of your jokes are funny. Oh, just two years? Two years. No one. No. No one thinks you're joking about anything. They don't. Okay, they don't think I'm joking. No, they don't think you're joking. 
They mm. don't think you're funny. Sarcasm, does it work? No, they don't they don't think you're funny. Mm, they don't they, they don't think you're joking, they don't think you're funny. Mm, I think I could do it. For two years? Two years. Dude, no, I don't what's know. The, what's the reaction? Is there gonna be a negative? Like if or you is go, it just it's my self esteem that's being affected. I mean, no, there's not like I don't think there's a real world negative negative uh it's consequence just, i so think i think it's just your it's just a mental game knowing that you have two years of just jokes mm-hmm. that are not gonna land like like you have funny thoughts mm-hmm. but you can't tell anyone because no one thinks they're funny so i have to save them for two years and then yeah. when, it, when it but imagine imagine after that two years and you're just like hey theo and it, i hear the restorative power of laughter as i tell you all the thoughts <laughs> i've had for 2 years that would be a stream of consciousness that would be I'm pretty just good saying, i'm like you didn't think but, it was funny before but also you might just have your soul crushed at that point and think that you're just not you you might actually Let, start to believe that you're genuinely not funny let's role play this okay. so let's um, i go hey theo hey yeah why the chicken crossed the road you're not funny <laughs> no i didn't expect that okay <laughs> Okay, this got a little harder. Like, I didn't like if you if you're in a meeting, if you're in a meeting and you say something, like something comes to you and you like say it, and they like everyone will look at you and be like, "What are you doing? I could, like, I what, could, could you not?" Oh, uh, yeah, but I don't make that many jokes in meetings. I don't more. I just sit meekly. Okay, in the that was corner. one example. But <laughs> I love that your way. Of, do you say that to people in your normal life? Like somebody's just like, "Hey Theo, how's it going?" And you're just like, "You're not you're funny. You're not funny. I hate you." <laughs> Jeremy, get out of my house. <laughs> You're the worst. I think I could do it. Two years? That's Two not that years. bad. If it was the rest of my life, couldn't. No, that's why I toned it down, because yeah, the rest of your I life, mean. that's just, that's not. That's misery. I would just yeah. end. So would... much of my confidence comes from making people giggle, and. You could pay people, though, to laugh. No, you, I mean, yeah, you could. Fake you... laugh. You could do fake. I could be like, you could, but, please. But they wouldn't know when you were trying to be funny, so they might Carol, laugh. Carol. So they might think you're. Carol, give me one of your good <laughs> chuckles. I need it. I want your second hand chuckles. Oh, those good chuckles. Ho ho! <laughs> <laughs> I, okay, I think. But would. So everyone thinks I'm bad. It's not just like they're bad jokes. Like everyone assumes that it's they're like It's not like, like for two years puns. you only have the ability to tell bad jokes. It's for two years. No, you have the bo- best. You have the same joke telling capabilities that just no one thinks they're funny. Yeah, I could do that. I could. Do all that. right, all right. I was gonna make the goof that like only dads would think I would funny because they do bad jokes all the time. I think dad jokes are pretty funny. And you'd be like, "Ha ho, good one, son!" <laughs> and I'd be like, "Finally, <laughs> <laughs> finally, I get to relate to my papa." Papa. Speaking of relating you, to papa. your papa, yeah. well, Will and I, Will okay. and I were just eating dinner at a at a Mexican restaurant, and we eating it. <laughs> <laughs> we tell a real life story. This is a segment called real life story. Real life so story. Life. We like like just this evening, and we were sitting there, and the burrito place we're at had three sizes of burritos. Yep. Regular. Super. For, uh, regular for about six dollars. Yep. Super for like super. seven hundred seven seven hundred seven dollars and fifty cents, <laughs> and super super. Which is a fifteen dollar burrito. I had to explain what a super super was to Theo, and I said. All the way up and they wrap up this thing yep. it's as big as my arm so and yeah. i was explaining that was and, is, and they're silently and very clearly are listening to us just I, talk i told the story about my friend who ate a super super and he ate it the same like he finished it at the same time i finished my super and, <laughs> and then the, like, dad, the dad interjects and he's like so you like you think it could be done <laughs> i was like what do you mean <laughs> As a combo of dad and son who have nothing to connect about, so they just blatantly interrupt the people that are sure. conversating. Son, I don't know how to relate to you, but these boys are goofed. They're they're funny boys. <laughs> Let me get in on their Let conversation. Let me get on their goof. These boys are more interesting than you, son. These boys are goofing. Those these boys are goofing. Hey, Theo, you ready for another segment? Sure. Lay it on me. Ready Let for... Me. Lay it on me. All right, so this is a segment that I like to call uh, Wikipedia Historian. Here we go. And it's uh, it's things from history that I found on Wikipedia that I think are very funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm ready. The first... There's only one. I don't know why I said it first. <laughs> it's the first time I'm doing this segment, and it's going to be reoccurring because I found a lot of related things from this. I love <laughs> it. It has the bottom related. The Wikipedia rabbit hole. Yep. Uh, the first is called Whipping Tom. Oh, That's this, the title of the article. This sounds wait. This sounds either vaguely uh-huh. sexual. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Can I guess what whipping Tom is? 
<laughs> is this part yeah. of the segment? Okay, let's make this part of the segment. What do you think whipping Tom All right. is? I think... Yeah. Who liked, a, who liked a little whip on the bottom? He, he liked the whip on the bottom? It. Yeah. And it became a goof. People called him Whipping Tom. <laughs> Look at Whipping Tom! Look <laughs> at Whipping Tom! <laughs> Look at Tom. <laughs> Getting whipped so hey, hard. He made it on Wikipedia. I'm not on Wikipedia. <laughs> it's true, but that's for the worst thing. <laughs> whipping Tom. Was, whipping Tom was the nickname given to two sexual attackers in <gasps> London and nearby village of Hackney. Both would attack women walking <gasps> alone and beat them on the buttocks. What? So he would come up to these women, and he would walk up to them, grab them, they're usually alone at night, and he would take a rod or his hand, and he would whip them on the butt. Oh, it's terrible. It is terrible. They would actually get very hurt. Yeah, that's um, not okay. Yeah. So the the earliest attack was in 1672, and they nicknamed him Whipping Tom. Okay, so I was, like, kind of right. No, he, I mean, he, did, was, he didn't like being whipped. He liked whipping people. But he which liked is, whipping. Which is not that far off. And mm-hmm. I was kind of right. You were go- goofing about how 400 years later there'd be an article about him on the internet, <laughs> which is exactly what happened. <laughs> it is. <laughs> the earliest recorded attacker uh, of this nature was active in central London in 1681. He would approach unaccompanied, unaccompanied women in alleys and courtyards and spank them on the buttocks before fleeing. <gasps> The inability of the authorities to apprehend the offender <laughs> caused complaints about the ineffective, ineffectiveness of London's constitu- constabulary and prompted vigilante patrols in oh the affected God. areas. A local haberdasher and his accomplice were captured and tried for the attacks. Were they found guilty? Uh, they were. I mean, the and real, then there's the second person. The real also test named is like, Tom. okay, lock these people up, and if the crime. You either have the right man or you don't. Mm-hmm. This is like a very easy, easy trial, you know? Mm-hmm. Rural village outside of London. And he would ex- also approach people in the countryside and beat them on the buttocks with a birch rod. Oh my. About 70 attacks were carried out before a local man named Thomas Wallace was captured and confessed for, to the attacks. My favorite part of this, though, is he would come up to the people. So this, this is the 1681. This is the first attacks. They said that he would come up to people, he would grab them, lift their dress, slap their buttocks repeatedly before fleeing, and he would sometimes accompany attacks by shouting, SPANKO! <laughs> <laughs> SPANKO! <laughs> SPANKO sounds like the worst Batman villain of all time. <laughs> it's me! I see you, Dark Knight, and <laughs> you shall be- never end my crime spree. <laughs> I have my evil extended hand in the Spanko <laughs> hand. <laughs> what is his costume? Because they all had, like, <laughs> I'm imagining Adam West era Batman. Yep. And he's, Holy bajinkies, Batman! He's slapping so many buttons! <laughs> he's, he's got two little symbols. One is a butt, and another is a hand. He's like smacking <laughs> it, like, bang! <laughs> And he goes, I don't think so, villain. And he, he <laughs> Not goes, today. Why? Robin would get captured and he's in a chair, and he's, <laughs> but it's got, like, no bottom. <laughs> you, the, you need to choose either the city or you know, the months of your compatriots. Hold under every seat in the city a paddle to spaddle every person. The butts. Oh. Where are they? <laughs> And yeah. he, and he Alexander just, Buttsworth. And he, <laughs> who could have known that he, Alexander Buttsworth? Mm. Can he be trusted? But I feel like it would go CSI though. It would like be. It's like he cut off their butt. He cut off the butts of his victims. Oh no, that's too much. <laughs> that's too much. That's too much. That's too much. That's too These much. buttless vi- victims. <laughs> These poor. I, you might say that his appetite for spanking is bottomless. Wow! No, Theo, I don't think you're funny. Oh shit, it's happening. What, what Where's called? my million dollars, Will? Ooh, it's all monopoly <laughs> money. Oh, got him. Do I your made, segment. I thought I made a good goof there, but it got no traction. <laughs> <laughs> There's gonna be somebody who's laughing, and they're like, "Why isn't Will laughing at the joke? It was a good one." All right, Will. Yeah. Bringing you into a second a segment where I uh, I bring you along a journey. Oh, I'm ready for it. Of, um, I want to bring you through a little, a little, hi- the highlight reel Ooh. of, of a reality TV show called My Strange Addiction. My Strange Addiction. Have you ever heard of the show? I think I might have. So to, yeah. So the basic concept is that it's on TLC 
mm-hmm. and they go around and find people who are obsessed with weird things and they have a, a little thing that follows them. So I'm going to, I'm going to take you through three. <laughs> I'm going to tell you about three of the, three of the highlights I found. So the okay. first one was a woman who was addicted mm-hmm. to making her neck longer. Wait. Hold on. <laughs> Hold it. Hold it. Why? Why? Were they, were they doing the rings thing? So I saw a giraffe in my youth, and I knew I had to become one. Yeah. Why are you putting this information in my mind? I'm sorry, but it needed to be told. It didn't, though. Quotes. On our public podcast. <laughs> Quotes from the episode. The first time she drank it, and she said, you know what? I can do this. <laughs> Your own it's not urine. achieving your lifelong dream of, of starting your dream company. Hey, you can drink your own pee. She now claims that it's easier to drink than water. That must mess with you, though. Like, your body? Yeah, I mean, they had a testimonial from her daughter. It's not healthy to be drinking it. No. And it was like, come on, Mom. 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 Mom? Does she... <laughs> Drink it out, and does she? It's lemonade. It's she fine. like that's disgusting. Wait, <laughs> wait she was making all these faces. She was making these faces like either she was real. Couldn't quite tell. Imagine being so deep into a lie that you <laughs> are on a TV show, and you're like, <laughs> "All right, final, Rob final yes. strange addiction." I'm ready. A woman mm-hmm. who is a I don't know if you'd call this addiction. She was I'm attracted right. to. I'm already winced sexually, <laughs> romantically. Wait, can I guess? Sure. Uh, You're not gonna get it, but you could guess. <laughs> okay, it's on my. It, it's weird enough to be on a TV show. It's and I'll not, tell you this: I'm not gonna say I'll mannequin. Tell you this. It happened in Florida. An alligator. No, it. I mean, it's just shit. People are weird. The in mascot. The, <laughs> the alligator. The gators. <laughs> the gators. The gators. <laughs> uh, mm, let me give the me. gator from Gatorade. <laughs> yeah. <No. laughs> don't even have that's a lightning bolt now. Nobody even knows about that. Um, okay, let me give, uh, uh, very attracted to, uh, rascals, the rascal carts that no, <laughs> think people no. married. Well, wasn't just sexually attractive, <laughs> got married, like put around. To... <laughs> it was a carnival ride. What is the cart? Which it's one? called a skydiver named Bruce. 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 Brucey. What a lad. Her lifetime. Her first oh. relationship was with was with a carousel. Was with an airplane. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't have a carousel though. He's like, I couldn't keep up with him. He was just spinning around all the time. <laughs> it was, it, he wanted to move to the airplane. Does she own these things, or does she just follow a carnival around? Just research. This. I just researched this. I just <laughs> I'm a Wikipedia story. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, like, no. I didn't consent Someone to taxi this. me out of here. I can't get away. Get Bruce away. Bro. <laughs> I can't. The relationship before, before Bruce was with uh, a locomotive. <laughs> he had a... He, was he, kept, he kept honking at me. Very, <laughs> very phallic, though. So that worked out, I, I was, suppose. Wow. Imagine dying from being run over by a train while you're trying to hug it. Ah, <laughs> uh, John. John the locomotive. Oh, John, John no. No. <laughs> get hit by it is that murder or is that just an accident lover's quarrel <laughs> Love, lover's quarrel so in her in her in her uh i said she was married but it was technically a commitment ceremony not legally binding by the way which who the fuck is this priest who is this yeah. person this officiator I also doesn't know, need to be a priest she specified that it wasn't legally binding which in my mind i want to know <laughs> yeah how, how, how would it be how would it be legally binding if you guys adopted a son together and then got divorced would would bruce do you have to make child support? Do you see these headphones? Uh, legally married to them. That was, there gross. We go. that was gross. I don't like it. See the blip that in that audio later. Yeah, I'm going to see the waveform <laughs> of the kiss, and I'm going to go, ew, I remember that. I like the idea I that, my headphones. I like the idea that, like, she thinks she's married to this skydiver, Bruce, and then, like, maybe she, like, buys a bike one day, and she's like, this is my son. Oh, God, yes. <laughs> this is I, my son. This is a segment that I just got reminded of. This is just another random thought that I've had. Do people... Because there are fetishes for everything, and it it fascinates me. If you have a tree fetish, and you walk through a forest, are you just like... Oh, my (laughs) God! Oh, oh, there's that one. I think we fundamentally don't really understand how fetishes work. Oh, God, dude. Oh, there's so many... Look at that elm. Oh, 
like do you want do you need to like like what if you get sap on your fingers like i hate getting sap on your fingers because you can't oh, wash it off it's the worst it. they probably like it. they're like Ooh. you're like awesome oh, sap. Oh. it's Let in between get... my toes mm. my toes are stuck together they take like, oh that's a very curvy branch over there <laughs> oh god dude it's such a big trunk i can't even fit my arms around it oh god let's do let's do another segment that yeah. i came up with all right yeah which is uh I'm going to call it elevator pitch or competing elevator pitches. Elevator, the duel of the fates of elevators. Welcome to this conversation we should have had earlier. (laughs) Basically, I texted Theo earlier in the week and I said, come up with a new. And that's all I gave him. That's all he gave me. And so we we each need to pitch a new Ladies and gentlemen, I've never been more confident in anything in my life. (laughs) <laughs> that's badly not true you came up to me and said i don't have anything <laughs> but ready this is supposed like, to be this is showbiz this is razzle dazzle you're not supposed to show them behind the curtain I, ladies and gentlemen welcome to this tour behind no. episode three we're pulling back the curtain now he says i've never I been more confident in my life <laughs> I think you need the behind the scenes after episode three <laughs> our stupid our very ill thought out segments <laughs> well it was it. movie magic up until that moment do you oh, no. do you want to go first or do you want me to go first? well do you want to gauge my answer i would love to gauge your answer my answer isn't going to change but maybe i'll look a little less ridiculous in the no this is a tough one because i had two pick your best one so uh, give me your one, best shot one is i would want more in my life i'll go over that one later do that later because we could actually have a discussion and then there's it. one that's funnier yeah, do that one. Let me see it. Let me hear it. Lay it the on me. funny one is, I want mode of transportation of personal balloons. I just want to observe people. Because <laughs> <laughs> I would it be one big balloon? <laughs> well, it could no, because I feel like that would be more <laughs> annoying. Because I just imagine a dude in a business suit who's just shooting all the balloons and bombing. I ran out of air. <laughs> no, but one big balloon because I. Sometimes, so I just imagine mm-hmm. just a business man, just like, whoa, whoa, change my two o'clock. <laughs> Good use of it, which would be like in Metal Gear Solid, the uh, Fulton air recovery. <laughs> Roger? Roger Williams? Oh my god, how have you been? <laughs> it's, it's, it's like it unfurls. Slowly, yeah, it it's like, it's like, like uh, you know, I really have better be my wife on the phone. Got us. I, I got dinner. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I got dinner. <laughs> known each other for 10 years really nice meeting you <laughs> <laughs> i love that zip cord i'll see you next week <laughs> <laughs> and i'll see you could just land in your window how baller coming to a- you know you could never line that up carly you just smack what? into your house you'd smack into the side <laughs> of your house every time just- mr williams is in this <laughs> office he had a 10 o'clock appointment and then you just <laughs> sheesh, oh, you just wax it up. <laughs> i thought i could do that better and then the like, balloon pops and he falls to his death oh no <laughs> would, i like I, the slow unfurl i just can't i'm uh, sorry it just unfurled by itself i had a really good time can't tonight it was really great meeting you we should totally go on a second day <laughs> but it just like slowly float away <laughs> And then if you hate business, you could kill people so easily. You could just ruin people's day. Like, okay, honey, I'm leaving there's, for work. I'll see you at 295. No, someone slashed my balloon. There's Herbert. <laughs> I fucking hate Herbert. Let me just angle this pizza cutter that Get I'm holding. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll just drop Slow it right on him. Slow pursuit. You'll be dictated by the winds. <laughs> I'm coming after you. <laughs> Williams, what are you doing here? <laughs> I'm going to get you, Herbert. <laughs> you know. You'll never catch me. <laughs> he's slashing. He's like, oh, it's slowly deflating. <laughs> You'll never catch me, Spanko. <laughs> Spanko. <laughs> Spanko's below Spanko's, them waiting with his Spanko's hands upstairs. Spanko's vehicle of choice oh. would absolutely be a hot air balloon. It would be two hot air... <laughs> no, it would be two, two hot air balloons in the in shape, the shape of, of a butt. butt. <laughs> I need to lose some altitude. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. That's my pitch. All right, well. Mm-hmm. Well, I've heard you, you know, you know, there's this problem in the world. I've heard you had it a lot. Mm-hmm. You're, 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 you're on your horse. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then yeah. you say to yourself, this horse has so many problems. <laughs> One. So many respiratory problems. One. Uh, it's big and it's smelly. Mm-hmm. Two. It's not comfortable. 
You had some fruit cologne for that horse. There you go. Get him some fruit cologne. I introduce you, Ostrich Saddle. <laughs> <laughs> From the makers of Horse Saddle <laughs> comes Ostrich Saddle. Let me lay some uh, facts on you about ostriches. They're between oh, six and nine feet tall, so you, you get some good this. ground coverage there. You can go over some boulders. Oh, I you know can, how I love boulders. This new thing, ostriches. <laughs> Harriet, Harriet the horse, get, get up that boulder. He can't. <laughs> Leaping. He's leaping. <laughs> this year's ostrich. New 2019. Okay. Feathery body. That's a good pillow. That's mm-hmm. basically a pillow. Pillows are made of f- f- stuff with feathers. That's, you're sitting on... Because they are like <laughs> pillows. Also, let me, let me lay this on you. Their mm-hmm. main predators are lions. Not a problem. No more lions. Two things. Yep. Well, three <laughs> things, actually. <laughs> your balloon idea is... Th- defeating it is a literal poked hole. Poking a hole in your idea is literally... How have I not seen a nature documentary of a lion chasing a fucking ostrich? Just like hanging around. Come on down to Tony's used emporium. We got all the ostriches you would ever need in your in here. We got tall ones. We got tall ones. We got ones that put their head in the ground like the cartoons. We got... <laughs> My third thing, by the way, is how have we not... Has somebody ever made, like... Plucked one and cooked an ostrich. Like it's a probably, big. Eh, it's probably not that good. Yeah, they're it, too muscly. They're uh, they would probably not be cooked in the middle. Yeah, a pretty big bird. Look at you, but gosh. they can run top speed forty three miles an hour, which is actually like pretty good, That's pretty decent. Yeah. What's the, mi- what's the, what's the mileage, mileage on that? Bad what's boy? The mileage on that bad what's boy? the mileage on that? Bad miles boy? per gallon of bugs. How, how much? <laughs> how much feed do I need to give this? They eat plants and bugs. So what's the mileage on? Coming into work the first day, and just. Um, Harry, is that an ostrich? They Ex- offered a very good... Excuse me, his name is Oscar. <laughs> he has a name to work. He is currently mowing the lawn as we speak, so excuse you. Regular ostriches. Yeah, what's, the fancy, always... what's the fancy version of an ostrich? Mecca ostrich. <laughs> but that's just a car. <laughs> it's just a car. <laughs> it's a motorcycle. Well, okay, okay. So, to be fair... I'm going to one-up you and ride a fucking giraffe. Like, got you there, sucker poor hey. person. I think, given the opportunity, they probably would have. There's at least one you can, person like, that... You'd, there's imagine... one person in the world who was absolutely tried, nothing to lose. <laughs> or it's a person who's bored with life, yep. has so much that he needs to ride a giraffe. Like, I need the thrill of adventure. Yeah. This is the only place I can try it. But imagine someone riding on a horse and you pull up on your giraffe. You'd feel so much better than them. <laughs> you would feel so cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yours doesn't have a long neck? Oh, yours has to eat things off the ground like an idiot? Oh, uh, there are trees all around this. My <laughs> thing can snack while it's I'm yeah. riding it. It's no big thing. But then, it is a big thing. And then, like, Janet from accounting has a <laughs> zebra, and you're like, oh, Janet. Janet. It's Janet, not a you good don't one. ruin it, Janet. Janet, you, why'd you have to get a good... It has better mileage. <laughs> no, it does You just want it as stripes. You want, you want it stripes. to be different. God, you like the color, Janet? God, Janet. Come on, Janet. Janet's always doing this. So right. That's my pitch, man. Do you do you want to hear my second? Let me hear your actual idea. My, okay, but this is... Okay, you know in mailrooms... <laughs> that's a bad <laughs> Yes, be me in mailroom <laughs> every day. You're just, you're, no, you, you mail yourself. No. <laughs> well, you you know how they have those pneumatic tube things where they put it into a capsule like the mail. Mm-hmm. They put it in the thing. And they it shoots up. <laughs> Boop. I want that instead of elevators because I hate getting on an elevator and it just lasts too long and it closes and somebody is like and you're like, "Sorry." You want- Velocity. Oh, you we're go, going fast, baby. And then you get the satisfying <laughs> in the strap and you get out. Yep. It would and be great. Your liver is in your <gasps> upper chest. If you're a bigger person, you're not going to be able to fit into these. And so it's like, maybe I'll take the stick. So telling me that in this fictional For universe. Fit people only. Like they wouldn't just make, like, cater to the biggest cost. Is being like, <laughs> fat people can't fit in cars. You can't have a car, baby. You gotta walk. <laughs> <Could> you... <laughs> This tube is closed off because somebody's stuck in it. <laughs> They're stuck in it like a Gus's glue. Like it's not from okay. Willy Wonka the not, Jungle yeah, Factory. Yeah, if you get if you get trapped in an elevator with a group of people, it's not that embarrassing. If you get trapped in a tube by yourself, you're like claustrophobic. Oh shit, dude! I really messed up this time. I should have skipped the Twinkies today. <laughs> but I but I just 
It would be like, you, do you remember, did you watch all the Harry Potter movies? Mm-hmm. Remember in the Ministry of Magic, the way you get in is through a bathroom? Oh, yeah, right, yeah. And you, It's just like a personal, you get down an elevator, pff, you're there. That's what I was kind of imagining. And then I also had the thought of, did a muggle ever go into that? And like, one what, was like, what, what, why what? are people, where are people going? Why are there so many lines? And then they go <laughs> in and they, they go to take a shit. <laughs> Whoa! And they get, yeah, they go suck the stars. <laughs> Just in the the like ch- chimney thing, they would have their just pants down their ankles, and they're like, oh. <laughs> Everyone just they would have them. such PTSD they'd never be able to poop the again. The silence, and then just the, <laughs> <laughs> and then everyone would be like, like oh, the and then you get obliterated by but so many people, and you just like <laughs> fall down, pants around his ankles still, and then they just chuck him out. They don't care about him. He's just naked. <laughs> get out of here, you filthy muggle. <laughs> I don't remember what happened yesterday. Oh, I remember going to take a shit and then and then I blacked out. <laughs> Doc, I, I blacked out. Is this is this how Elvis died? <laughs> I don't remember. All right, that's I feel like that's a good. Uh, do we? Here's the question: Do we want to have a winner, or do we just want to have it open? These were our ideas. These are my ideas. I don't. I don't think there's a conclusion. Science hasn't answered this yet. Do we want to put it out to I the just audience? Have, I think that I think that the best idea is is your actual idea, but but, and, but balloons <laughs> balloons are come on they're funny. <laughs> they're it's the funny. funny. It's the funny one. Um, balloons, balloons, just balloons. So I think uh, should we should we leave it up to the audience? Let's leave it up to the audience. Cast your votes. Uh, you can either email us. At segmentcitypodcast at gmail dot com. If you have any segments you want to to pitch to us, or if you have any comments, if you like the show, uh, send us an email. Also, remember to like, com- comment, and sub- no, it's, that's YouTube. <laughs> uh, if you're listening remember, to this on like yeah. iTunes or any other podcast network, uh, remember to subscribe to us, leave a review, mm-hmm. um, send it to your friends. We need, we need it. Give, we give us some support. Oh, uh, I think we're gonna. Also, look at our tw- Twitter. That's where I think I'm going to put the poll mm-hmm. for what idea you thought was best. The Twitter is at Segment City. It wasn't uh, taken? No. These, that's amazing. These clown towns. Uppercase S, uppercase C, all one thing. Seg- at Segment City on Twitter. Uh, and thank you for listening. And thank you. It's been a pleasure having you, hey, honey. How about you give a quick shout out to our good friend? Yeah, Okay. We're going to thank uh, Rachel Robeson for for our wonderful intro song, our intro theme. She's great. You should check out her podcast, Create Loud, mm-hmm. wherever you find podcasts. And uh, yeah, thanks, Rachel. And also thanks us for coming up with this. Good- <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Will. Will, you know what? I'm hey. going to end the show. Thanks, Will. Hear that? That's a pat on the back. Well, you're supposed Episode to. three. Got him. We got it. <laughs> we got it, baby. We got it, baby. We got it, baby. Got it, baby.